Ten Thumbs Blues Challenge Day Number Two. Every great blues needs a classic turnaround. So what we're doing today is we're going to show you a super simple, basic turnaround that you can get no matter what your level. To enter to win the brand new ukulele, film yourself taping today's lesson, upload it to Instagram, and tag us at Ten Thumbs Pro hashtag Ten Thumbs Blues Challenge. Feel free to tag Flight as well and let them know that you're excited for a chance to win an ukulele from them. Remember, printable tabs for everyone, Patreon or not, pinned in the first comment of the comment section. If you like those free tabs, think about becoming a Patreon. You get tabs like that with every single lesson. And a link to our Facebook group where you can get additional resources and additional help is in the description. All right? Grab the ukulele brain attention span, blues brain, and let's turn it around. The turnaround. So the turnaround is at the very end, and today this is what we're gonna learn how to play. It's the last four measures that we were playing earlier, D7, C7, G7, D7. And we're gonna transform that into this. And it adds a lot of personality to our 12 bar blues, right? So the D7 and the C7 is the same. It's just the last two measures where the riff comes into play. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with an open G string like this. And we're gonna move our index finger to the fifth fret of the C string. And you'll know it's the fifth fret because most ukuleles are gonna have a dot right there for this. So you play that G and then you get to the fifth fret. One, two, and you're gonna pinch your index finger on the C string and your G string with your thumb. Two, and. And on the and, you're gonna play just the G string. So, so far we have one, two, and. Simply take your index finger and move it down one fret and repeat the process. Three, and. You guessed it, down one fret. Four, and. You guessed it, down one fret, one. So we have one, two, and three, and four, and one. Let this one out for a quarter, so we're not gonna play this one two times. Then we're gonna lift our finger, open C string, first fret, second fret. And this is a D note, and our D note is going to imply our D chord. So we get one, two, and three, four. So let's take it really slow. And we're gonna add the D and the C7, but we're only gonna do downs. So you can count this, because getting the timing right is really what's gonna sell it. It can be as simple as possible, but if it's in time, it's gonna sound good. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and you're at the top. Okay, so let's try it again this time. And this time we're gonna do our regular strum patterns for the D7 and the C7, okay? So let's play through it together, this time with a regular strum pattern. Nice and slow though, we're not gonna count it, we're gonna keep it in time, but it's gonna be nice and slow. So here we go, one, two, three, Four. Now it's almost hard to play it that slow, so let's do it one more time, exactly the same, just a little bit faster. Count us in, here we go. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. Okay, so now we've played it um, a couple of times we're going to play the whole 12 bar from the top. And this is what I would like you to do for the challenge, this part. We play the whole 12 bar, and we're gonna finish with our strum pattern, or with our turnaround. So from the top, one, two, three, 
four. So good. It really does add a lot of spice, all right? So there you go, folks. Now you got your first turnaround. Your blues is really starting to cook. It's really starting to sound good. Catch you tomorrow for the next challenge. If you're a little more advanced, I'll put a link in the description for some other turnarounds we did in G, so you have something a little more spicy. Thank you so much for participating in today's challenge, and we'll see you tomorrow, well, in two days, for the next challenge.